Hi, it's Dr. Alex Popovich and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking about new email application that I came across lately and it's called Chuck Email Application. So let's dive in. This is a website for Chuck Email Application. It's one of the email applications done by 410 Labs. They are also makers of Maelstrom. So Chuck email application has two uh, subscription models. The basic one is free and then there is also um, a paid subscription. So this application, it's only for iPhone and iPad. It's not for Mac OS and it's not for Android or Windows. So only iPad and iPhone OS. So what does it do? It actually takes control of, this is what they say, of your inbox. And what it does is basically you can, with several clicks or selection of several emails, you can prioritize or move emails into a different folders. I think the reason why they are not on um, Mac OS is because their paid big version Maelstrom is only website service. For them, it's having kind of like two different products. And if you pay for the paid version of Maelstrom, you will get the Chuck OS as well. If we go back to Chuck, what happens with the free one is that you have or you can connect only one email account. So if you have two, three, four or five like me, uh, or six or more, then um, you have to have more than one application or you have to use the paid version of this application. So this is what it looks like on my iPhone. And right at the top is uh, how you can organize your messages. So it's by senders, by messages or conf conversations, by time, or by all of the messages but automatically kind of goes into the senders. Uh, down at the bottom, you can basically select one or more um, messages. Uh, you can filter them differently, but often you, you have to do these filters through the pro application. And here is how you can unsubscribe from a different subscription things and you can or, or newsletters and you can select multiple and unsubscribe through that this is um, basically just the folders and stuff that you have um, on your normal email and here is your settings and you cannot actually do that much of a settings um, through this um, uh, non-paid or free application apart from notifications allowing access to contact, confirming and what to do with the newsletters and stuff like that. But you can't actually do that much settings wise. Here at the top, you basically write a new message. Things for me, what I found diff weird is when you have the um, emails um, sorted by senders, for example, these two emails here and personal and from this person above it's actually the same message the bottom one is my reply to that message so it kind of does them weirdly uh, by seeing two messages and if you open the original it just says my um that i've they've, that i've written it and did it so i'm not sure why it shows it up as two messages the other thing i found out is actually quite um, slow and downloading stuff from the uh, Google server. I've only connected one email, as I said, because this is not a paid version. It's a um, it's a free version, and um, uh, it, it took a while actually to do this. Uh, it is very good at uh, deciding what to do with the several messages. So if I let's say want to do all of that, and I can move them to a different folder, I can very quickly do that. I can snooze, I cannot delay send, or I cannot set a reminder um, to in this application. Whether it's paid 
or whether it's a free version. So um, the other thing, the other thing I didn't really like, it's actually not the cleanest interface. I have to say, if we look at the cleanest interface for me and the least cluttered interface for me would be the Newton Mail and Tempo Mail applications. They are beautiful. There are no distractions. There is no col colors. They are very, very simple. If we go here to Chuck Pro to see what is there, this is the only thing you can look at it through it. You can smart select. Um, and remove unimportant, uh, unimportant messages with, with one tap. You can do a folder cleanup through group, different grouping models, and you can add a multiple accounts. It's probably easier to see it uh, through the phone application. So here you can see you have unlimited accounts, uh, smart select, custom signatures, smart notifications, advanced filter, and folder cleanup. And at least to me, I assume these are New Zealand prices. It's $7.49 per month or 72, almost $73 per year. This is what Chuck uh, mail application looks like um, on my iPad OS because you have a little bit more um, space on your screen. You get to see what the email looks like, for example. And you can change the view how you see your messages. You can do much quicker things about the email this way than going and opening each different email. Uh, everything else pretty much looks very similar. Now, if you open the email that you can unsubscribe, you can see it up on the top. So what are my impressions of this application? I really enjoy how this application deals with multiple emails. This is the first application where I've seen that you can very easily tick multiple messages and move them into different folders. Um, and this is really, really nice. I also use shortcuts as a part of the, my uh, phone or uh, iPad and the Chuck uh, email application does have already uh, certain shortcuts built in or available. The things that I didn't enjoy that much is um, that you cannot do more than one account into the free application. I don't know of any app that does that. Um, and it's, it's really a bit um, unsatisfying. Uh, I suppose they have to um, give, uh, give you a taste of what's happening with Chuck email application. But um, I would have probably preferred to say, look, you get a month for free to use it, to see, or two weeks to use it for free and see how you go and use everything. Because that way you get a better um, kind of a view of what's happening with the, with the application or not, and whether you like it or not. As said, it's not a very clean interface. If you want to be productive and have a distractions, uh, I would kind of have a look at what you can go and have as an offer um, that's a bit cleaner. So have a look at a little bit of Tempo email application or Newton mail application. It is a bit pricey application for a paid one. So it is $7.50. If it's New Zealand, it's probably not so bad. Um, but it is actually pricey when you consider that you can only use it on iPad and iPhone, that you cannot use it on your computer. I would also like for them to see a reminders option as well as send later option to your emails. I find this very useful because I do quite a lot of emailing uh, of the weekends or if I'm on call at really horrible hours and I don't want people's phones to bing or ping. Um, but at the same time, I also want my emails to be at the top of the priority. So I want to send it, for example, closer to the time that I know the person is going to be in their office. Uh, I've used it only for a, for a week or a couple of weeks. And I found that there is a delay between um, arriving of the emails into my um, Chuck email account. It's a bit similar to airmail application. It took a while to download things from the server in comparison to Sparkmail application. I'm not sure why, 
but spark mail is a bit quicker. Um, I do use SaneBox uh, application and I find that it, application offers me easier way to move or make new folders or prioritize email so I don't even have to tick them. Anyway, all in all, uh, for me, this application would probably get a mark three and a half out of five um, or um, six and a half, seven out of ten. Thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now.